Hello, my name is Warrant Officer Class 2 Steve Hood. I'm the Squadron Sergeant Major of 105 Militia Working Dog Squadron out here in Jordan on Exercise Shamel Storm, proving our ability to deploy our capability anywhere in the world. Let's meet the team. So the first team I'm going to talk about is Private Seddon. Private Seddon's been in the Army now for six months and he's got a protection dog called Tran who's been in the army for four years, and Tran is a Malinois Belgian Shepherd. A protection team's job is to provide a basic level of security through either static sentries or patrolling sentries, and that could be in a main base location or out in the area uh, here in Jordan. They provide a really good visual deterrent for any would-be intruders that may try and creep into camp. If needs be, this team is trained to chase, bite and hold any would-be intruder. This is Private Cropper. She's been in the army now for two years and she has a vehicle search dog called Scooby who is six years old. Scooby is an English Springer Spaniel. The vehicle search teams also provide base security but in a different way. Their job is to search vehicles coming into the main gate and they can search all type of vehicles. They are trained to find arms, ammunition and explosives. And the real benefit for using this type of capability on the main gate is the fact that they can search vehicles at speed and large amounts of vehicles during the day. If you were moving out of the base location, then you may have use for an Improvised Explosive Device Detection Dog, or IE3D for short. This is Lance Corporal Franz. He's been in the regiment now for three years, and his dog Julie is also three years old. She's a Labrador. The IE3D team provide a standoff Improvised Explosive Device search capability. They mainly work with infantry call signs or combat logistic patrols. They're trained to find the main charge of an improvised explosive device. If on patrol you were then to uh, come across either a compound or some sort of building complex, you may have use for the arms and explosive search dog team. This is Lance Corporal Williams. He's been in the regiment now for eight years and his arms and explosive search dog, or AS for short, Lucy, is four years old and she's a Labrador. The arms and explosive search dog is a multi-utility dog. It can search for weapons, explosives and ammunition in any given area so long that it's safe to do so for the team to move in there. They work mainly with infantry call signs and explosive ordnance disposal call signs. This is Private Gilbert. Private Gilbert's been in the army for three years and along with his police dog, Yor, who is 18 months old, they provide the police capability. They can do tracking of ground scent of humans and they can also find articles such as evidence to try and prosecute criminals uh, and they can also do something called a building search for people and once they find them then do a standoff which means where the dog will sit and bark at who is found until they are then arrested. These guys would normally deploy with the, the military police but can also deploy with many other call signs as well and are best utilised during planned operations or during hot pursuits. And a hot pursuit is whereby if an enemy was to fire an infantry call sign we can then deploy the police dog uh, to then move forward to that firing point and then track the criminal back to their original location. Now I'm going to talk about the highest form of assurance that we can provide as a capability. This is Private Credland. Private Credland's now been in the army for two years and along with CU, his high assurance search dog who's five years old and a Belgian Malinois, they provide the highest level of assurance we can provide as a military working dog capability. They are trying to find improvised explosive device component parts and the main charge. They work mainly with the Royal Engineers search team as part of planned high assurance searches. If you wanted an early warning capability, then this would be the team that you would need. This is Private Broomhall. He's been in the army now for two years, along with his Rex, who is also two years old. He is a German Shepherd Cross, and they provide the infantry patrol capability. They are essentially an early warning system for many infantry call signs to warn them of any patrols coming near, and they can detect human scent up to 200 meters in favorable uh, weather conditions. They can also be deployed as part of jungle operations, and the way in which they indicate someone approaching is giving a silent, sit stare indication staring in the direction of the enemy approach. This is Private Howarth. Private Howarth has been with the regiment now for one year and along with his ped, his protection and explosive detection dog, Clara, who is two years old and a German Shepherd, they provide the combined capability of the arms and explosive search dog and the protection dog. And the reason we have done this is during contingency operations, when space may be short on transport, we need a dog that can do two jobs and Clara fits this bill. They are our newest and latest capability. So that's the team. And along with the rest of the squadron, we have the ability to deploy our capability anywhere in the world as part of any military operation.